Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Three of these carts are being driven by a recurrent neural network I call MariFlow, so-called because I wrote it using the TensorFlow machine learning library. One of them is being driven by my dad. Just kidding, this is him. See if you can figure out which cart he's driving. A neural network is a type of artificial intelligence which can learn by example. In this case, I've trained the neural network to try and mimic my own play style. MariFlow carefully examined 15 hours of my own recorded gameplay in order to try and figure out exactly how I tend to go about using the controller to drive the cart, so that it can drive just like me. The network started out knowing absolutely nothing about Super Mario Kart, and its only source of knowledge about the game was that gameplay footage. The goal is for its driving to be indistinguishable from a human. If you haven't figured out which screen is my dad yet, this is your chance to pause the video and rewind. Okay. This was the one that was being driven by my dad. He's still learning. I've let MariFlow do quite a bit of driving on its own. It's been able to get gold medals in 50cc mushroom and flower cups, though it's only ever managed to get a silver and a star cup. If you want to see MariFlow driving those entire cups and winning those medals, I've included links in the video description. Those videos will also give you a much better overview of how MariFlow tends to drive in all kinds of situations. You may have seen another neural network project of mine in the past, Mario. In that case, the neural network evolved on its own via genetic evolution to become better and better at playing the game. It produced small networks with evolved connections. The network in this video, MariFlow, is different. It doesn't know or care how well it's playing the game, its only function is to mimic my gameplay style as close as possible. It can't learn that from its own gameplay, it can only learn from my recorded gameplay footage. Also, MariFlow's network always stays the same size. In this video, the networks have two fully connected layers, each with 200 long short-term memory cells, LSTM for short. In a regular neural network, called a feed-forward neural network, data flows from one layer to the next. We start with the inputs, in this case a low-resolution grayscale version of the screen. Each pixel is represented by a number between negative 1 and 1, and there are a few extra pieces of data as well. Then we apply a large set of simple computations, mostly multiplication and addition, but also the occasional application of a nonlinear sigmoid function. The computation factors in both the values of the inputs and also a set of weights which belong to the neural network itself. This gives us a set of 200 numbers between negative one and one, which form the first set of neural activations in the first layer of the neural network, again represented here by grayscale pixels. Similar computations propagate neural activity one layer at a time. The deeper layers are able to represent more and more abstract information about the inputs. Finally, the network outputs eight values, one for each button it's capable of pressing. These are the network's predictions of what buttons it thinks I'm likely to press and how likely I am to press each one. All those computations happen 15 times per second, as the neural network constantly updates its controller predictions. However, MariFlow is not a normal feedforward neural network. It's a recurrent neural network. This means that from one time step to the next, each neuron may remember some information that it had in the previous time step. This makes each neuron act like a memory cell in addition to performing computations. In order to train the neural network, we need to adjust the weights that guide the computation during the forward pass and let it learn what information it should try to remember. So I recorded 15 hours of training data. I drove the cart around, recording both the neural network inputs and my button presses in each time step. In each time step, we run the neural network forward to get its predictions for which buttons it thinks I'm gonna press. If it gets it right, we don't adjust the network. However, if it gets the button presses wrong, we use some calculus to apply small changes to the weights of the network so that in the future, it'll get closer to the right answer in a process called backpropagation. We also propagate changes backward through the time steps so that the network can learn which information to remember in its memory cells and which information it should just forget. By doing this over and over on all 15 hours of training data, the network slowly starts to get better and better at predicting my button presses. However, I realized pretty quickly that if MariFlow was just trained off my own gameplay footage, there was a problem. It could drive okay for a little bit, but it would inevitably encounter situations that were not like anything it had seen in the training data. It would start to produce more and more erroneous predictions and get itself into situations it had no hope of escaping. My solution was to record training data in interactive sessions. I would let MariFlow's predictions drive the cart for a bit, then I would take control for a bit, and pass it back and forth. 
This allowed me to get good samples of the types of errors MariFlow was likely to make when driving on its own, and then record training data that would let the network learn how to rectify the situation. This gave much better results when MariFlow started driving on its own. This project taught me a lot about how to create and train neural networks. I've been impressed that MariFlow is capable of winning races, despite the fact that it doesn't know what winning a race even means. I also think that if it had more training data, it could still get a lot better at the game. I'm releasing all the source code and all my training data, so if you want to try and train a better neural network, there's a download link in the video description, along with links to more footage of MariFlow in action. That's about it. Thanks for watching.